the power of clove tea, and clove oil for hair growth. What is the power of clove tea? It has been used for many things both internally and topically throughout the ages. Often valued for its most aromatic and potent antioxidant compound known as eugenol, this is one of the secrets to clove that give it exceptional qualities above others. Many herbs and spices like nutmeg and allspice also contain eugenol in smaller amounts, but cloves or the Zyzygium aromaticum species is by far the number one source. Clove tea is a traditional herbal anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, respiratory and immune supporting ally. However, the external application of clove tea and clove oil for hair growth is probably one of its most famous uses. We will show you how to make clove oil and the benefits of using rosemary with cloves for healthy hair and scalp support. But first, here's a bit more on clove tea, its healing qualities plus a basic clove tea recipe. More Benefits of Clove Tea The penetrating, pungent, bittersweet tea has many folk uses as an antimicrobial, circulatory stimulant, digestive aid, and analgesic. Clove tea makes an awesome medicinal drink for scaring away non-beneficial critters like intestinal parasites. In a similar manner, it has been shown to keep fungal gut microbes like Candida from getting out of control. One amazing yet lesser known power of clove tea is as a natural pain reliever or analgesic. In some research, a combination of clove with its eugenol content and rosemary with its ursolic acid content were shown to benefit inflammatory pain in rats tested. The tea, as well as the oil, have been highly popularized as a household numbing agent for a painful toothache, as well as for its ability to inhibit oral pathogens and promote dental hygiene. The benefits of clove tea also come into play for alleviating a variety of digestive issues, including nausea, gas, indigestion, and diarrhea. Clove Tea Recipe The power of clove tea is especially accentuated when you crush the clove buds slightly before adding them to hot water. This will help to release the eugenol content, the main compound you want in your teacup. In our clove tea recipe, we use one quart of water to one tablespoon of cloves. After you bring the water to a boil, add the crushed cloves and simmer on low heat for five minutes. Remove from heat and allow to infuse in the teapot for 15 to 20 minutes with the lid. You can now strain the clove tea infusion through a fine mesh strainer. This recipe will make a little under four cups, which can be stored in the fridge and consumed for later use. It can be sweetened as a refreshing clove tea drink or reheated when needed. How to consume clove tea and best time to drink it. Is clove tea good for you to drink all day? No, usually you want to consume it in small amounts, not more than a cup a day or occasionally two. To get the most benefits out of the power of clove tea, it is often advised to drink it in the morning or between meals. Because cloves also have energizing properties, you might not want to consume the tea right before bedtime. Likewise, its potent compounds should only be ingested periodically, not on a regular basis, especially when using it in therapeutic doses. Clove Tea and Clove Oil for Hair Growth Both the clove oil and tea concentrates have been popular natural remedies for encouraging hair growth. This is because the eugenol and other spicy components in clove buds stimulate the scalp's surface layer, supporting healthy hair by triggering a follicle growth response. Using a combination of rosemary and cloves is also very common when making homemade hair oil. This is a botanical duo known to have strong actions, not only on hair growth, but also collectively holds the perfect antimicrobial properties to keep dandruff at bay. How to make clove hair oil. When using clove oil for hair growth, the oil is traditionally sourced from homemade oil infusions. This is achieved by heating one cup of olive oil, also good for the hair, and three tablespoons of whole clove buds together in a pot on a low heat simmer for about five minutes. It is optional to add two tablespoons of dried rosemary or wilted fresh rosemary after it is cooled. 
Customarily, this infusion is left to sit for two to three weeks, but it can be used after only a few days. It is best to strain it through cheesecloth, allowing it to slowly drip into a jar or bowl. The use of a squeeze bottle works best when using clove oil for hair growth applications and massaging it directly on the scalp. Don't forget that a 24-hour infusion of clove tea can also be used in a spray bottle for misting the hair and encouraging healthy hair growth. Precautions Consult your doctor before using clove tea if you are taking prescribed medications or have a serious medical issue. The power of clove tea should be avoided when pregnant or nursing. Thanks for watching! For more on the health benefits of cloves, be sure and follow the links in the description box below this video. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. And be sure and check out these other health promoting videos.